Hi everyone and welcome to this video. Are you ready for another makeup look with another Morphe and Jacqueline Hill palette? This time we are going to create this makeup look with, with this Ring the Alarm eyeshadow palette. So if you are ready for that and see how those eyeshadows are working on my very hooded eyes and if you want to see and hear my opinions about this palette, please keep on watching and don't forget to subscribe. So guys, let's go into this palette. So I am, like I said, going to create a little, maybe an everyday look. I hope. That's my goal, but you never, never know with me. I'm going to take this fluffy bar from Ofra and I'm going to go into this rush shade here. So it's, it's on. I'm going to go into my crease. I already have, primed, I already primed my eyes with Wet and Wild eyeshadow primer and set did set it with my Huda Beauty powder and I always use at least I'll be using that primer the same primer for every eyeshadow that I'm reviewing right now on my channel and it's because I'm reviewing the same collection but a palette at a time so I use the same primer with every um, Morphe and Jaclyn Hill palette that I'm reviewing, but also with the Ace Beauty Paradise Collection palettes. I want my reviews to be as fair as possible and uh, always telling the truth. I don't win anything with telling you lies, that's not what I'm here for. I started my channel because I love makeup and people always ask me for advices and I just love playing with makeup. I just love trying new products and I love telling how I feel about things. So my YouTube channel is perfect for that. This eyeshadow is beautiful. It blends nice. I've seen a couple of reviews that people don't like couple of palettes they think they are patchy or they don't blend blend very easily but I haven't seen that problem not yet I haven't played with this eyeshadow but right now I do like this shade I have to see say I this primer doesn't have any coverage so I do have a lot of discoloration and veins popping out popping out on my eyelids so this is not the eyeshadow that it's blend, not blending, it's just my veins popping through. So I know this is not maybe the best primer, but I really like it and it does work for me. So I don't mind my veins showing up when I apply my makeup daily, but when I go to some special events or something, I do take something that it's, has more coverage. So this eyeshadow blended nice. I'm going to go with same brush and take Alert this one and pop it in my crease oh I love this shade it goes very nice with rush look it blends nice it really blends nice so people are asking me if these these eyeshadows are exactly the same quality as the first Morphe and Jaclyn Hill palette. But actually, I have to be honest, these feel a little bit more drier than the first palette, but, but they blend beautifully. So I don't think it's the same formula. I, I don't think so, but I don't know. I don't have problems with this one as, so far, so. Okay, I'm going to take, continue with the same brush and go into mug, mug shot, mug shot this shade and pop that also in my crease. And I am going to keep it there, I'm not going to blend it, blend it upwards, I'm just going to keep it in my crease. I mean, I don't know if you can see, but it blends nice. I'm going to take another brush because I want more of that first shade that we had in a crease. I'm going to go back to Rush. And 
and blend the edges. Ooh, this looks nice. I don't know guys, you can see yourself that these blend nice. I don't have problem with pigmentations. I don't have problem with shades blending together. I don't know. I, I Right now I don't see any problems with this palette. I'm going to take Secret. And I think I'm going to take this shade, brush. This is uh, 231 from Zoeva. And I'm going to take the darker shade here, here Secret. They are powdery, but pigmented. And pop that here. Hmm. This one though, can you see this line here? It feels like this one is the one that is a little bit tricky. It's blending nice, but though there is a like a line here. And let's try to blend it more. Yeah, it's blending away. But you do have to work with this shade. I'm going to bring it into the crease also. I feel like this shade is the hardest to work with right now in this palette. I mean, it's... I know it doesn't want to blend as beautifully as I would like it to, but... It's kind of blending, but you do need to work with it more than you need to work with the other shades that I've been using. Okay, so I'm going to go with the brush. And I'm going to try to apply without wetting the brush. I'm going to apply this bomb ass. Bomb ass. This one is nice. And I didn't even wet the brush. I'm cleaning that flat brush. And I don't know. It's, uh, it's just a, it just says eyeshadow brush. I don't know which brand it is. I'm going to clean it and in here and I'm going to go in with this lolly, 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 this shade here. This one looks very, very beautiful. It's like duochrome. And gold pink and with the same dry brush. Okay, this one is applying a little bit harder than the first one with the dry brush. Goes on, but you do need to press. I feel like I do need to wet this brush. Just because I'm not getting, I don't want to press too hard on my eyes. So I'm going to use this Obsession Makeup London Pigment Booster Fix. Love this spray. It's very affordable and really good. But you can use Max Fix Plus if you want to. Yeah, it goes on so much easier. See? Oh, I love this shade. Bring back with the red one, Bomb S, to blend these together. And now, should I wet it? I should wet it. I'm going to wet the brush with this shade too. And I'm going to go back with this dark secret and put more of it here just to blend everything. I'm going to back with this brush that I used for my crease without adding any eyeshadow. I'm going to blend everything or blend my crease a little bit more just to blend the shades. So I kind of like how this turned out. I'm going to, it looks kind of strange right now without rest of the makeup and no lash line. So I'm going to do my makeup off camera right uh, fast and I'll be right back to finish the makeup look. So guys, I do have foundation and I did bake my face with um, Huda Beauty powder. I am going to finish my makeup look and 
eye makeup look before I continue with my face makeup and I'm going to go back into the shade rust and blend it on my lower this kind of flat fluffy brush number six from BH Cosmetics and I'm going to blend it I like going in with the same shade that I use under my eyes the first the same shade that I've used in my crease just to complete the makeup look sometimes I do like to go experiment and take a totally different eyeshadow eyeshadow that I had in my crease but this when you take the same eyeshadow same color it just makes everything look more smooth and complete and even I don't know I just love it then I'm going to take a very sorry I'm going to take a flat this kind of brush and use the darker secret and go very close to my lower lash line no 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 I'm not going to I'm going to actually go to alert and go into close and alert and mug shot so I'm going to take alert and mug shot on the same brush and blend very close to my lower lash line and I'm going to go the whole way and just blend it I'm not going to bring it too low but I'm going to blend it then I'm going to go with the same brush in secret I'm going to take that very very close to my long lash line just pop it there I'm going to top it, tap it just slightly. And I'm almost bringing, bringing it the whole way. I'm stopping like here. Going back with this brush without adding any eyeshadow and blend it just more. So I don't have any very light eyebrow shade or shade that I can pop under my eyebrows. So I'm going to go into this palette. And I'm going to take this shade with a, uh, with a brush, this kind of brush, and just blend here. Yeah, this looks good. So you can take any shade you like. This is what I have in front of me. So I'm going to use this palette on my face to contour and bronze. So guys, this is the final look with Ring the Alarm. I think it looks great. I think it's beautiful for the fall. It kind of reminds me of fall, this makeup look. And I think I didn't have any problem with any shade except the darkest one. That was one that it does blend. It looks patchy first. It does blend, but you have to work with it a lot. I do have very hooded eyes, so sometimes some dry eyeshadows, it takes a bit longer for me to blend them. So if you don't like that, you want eyeshadows to blend easy and fast. I don't know. Maybe you want like this shade, but the others worked beautifully. I didn't try this, this, and these two, but I don't think it. I don't know. I can't speak how they are going to work. But the ones that I used today for this makeup look, they work beautifully, except this one. It did, it did turn out great, so it's not terrible, but it did take me a while to blend it. So, but actually, I'm definitely going to use this palette. I think I really like it. So if you like it, give a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know every time I upload. I upload three videos a week, every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. And I hope I see you in my next video. Bye!